on here has watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3? I have. I have not. I'm sorry. I didn't see the Christmas um, special. Is that the new one that's out? <laughs> yeah. I'm a dunce. Nope. What do you think of it? <laughs> Am I the only one that's seen it? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all, all on me now. <laughs> all right. So, um, this is a strange one. I have mixed feelings because it's Disney. But, uh, anyway. Compartmentalize. So, so that means it was good, but you're like, hey, you don't want to say it was it. good? or? Well, okay. So here, here's the thing. Because technically it was a propaganda movie there's hardly uh-huh. any politics in it there's a little bit of feminism little moments there's one that's really cringy but other than that it's not too bad the reason why okay and this is not a spoiler anybody who's watched any guardians of the galaxy knows that rocket raccoon was animal testing so the yeah. whole purpose of the movie is going into rocket's past and ah. it's based on animal testing so uh-huh. they didn't put any of the other stuff into it because it is technically a political movie. Yeah, we don't test enough on animals, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never hear about it much. You just hear that we shouldn't be doing it. Well, where are the cases of us continuously doing it? Where are those? Yeah. Remember, I've heard the one. Beagles. I will. So, yeah, you know. I I'm mean, even to... the lab itself is done inside a living organism. So, that, I mean, the but because of that, they threw it all the politics quite out the window. Because it technically is a propaganda. Now, with that being said, the movie is actually really good. But dark. Like, yeah. it, it, it's got some he- really heavy mon- moments. <laughs> the, special the, flavor of dark. Yeah, the special <laughs> flavor of dark. Um, but it's Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, you laugh, you cry, but, um, normal Guardians of the Galaxy's got a lot more lighthearted, and then they'll have their serious moments, then go back to lighthearted. This is opposite. It, it's very in-your-face, kind of John Wick style. Non-stop, in-your-face, one thing after another. Oh, hey, this look, there's a little laugh right worse. here, and keep going. They take Chris Pratt's puppy to testing, and he's like, "Yeah, that's it." <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, yeah, that's kind of harsh. Here's here's the Strong thing about it. Like I said, there people. is parts where you'd laugh and stuff, but um, there was there was a couple of kids in my movie theater, and because of how graphic and detailed they go into some of the stuff that happened, uh-huh. they were not having fun. Oh, uh, yeah. that's no good. I notoriously hate children. Now I must go see this one. <laughs> like you said, adults will love it, but do you I don't recommend it for little children. kids. That's not possible. Uh, that's very possible. All no. you need is a license for one of those. Everyone who rides a scooter loves children. Yeah, sure they do, pal. <laughs> I get it. Is okay, I'm, I'm just saying that because the other two Guardians of the Galaxy, even though they're PG-13, a lot of parents uh-huh. didn't have problems with their kids seeing them because the way it was designed. Yeah. This one, they go... I mean, they are literally torturing animals and people. Not yeah, so like, what not kind even of doctor would twice. experiment on puppies? So is yeah. this <laughs> yeah. is this? I like, thought that's like, all the like, people who with sand fleas. Right, so Fauci's the main villain confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. for your health. It's okay. Oh, they probably <laughs> wrote that in before. You don't put it on. You don't put it on. I don't know. <laughs> I'm the science. <laughs> Two is okay. Maybe three. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had to that was good. My story but, uh, was yeah, I'm just warning you. Little kids were <laughs> not droplet. enjoying it in the theater. Okay. So I'll watch it, that. It's pretty it's intense. Theater. Like I said, there is a lot of laughter, but the when they do go into the serious, they they lay it on hard. Mm. Well, well, speaking of serious. Kind of what Transformers did back in 1986 when they killed Optimus Prime and every every 10-year-old in that theater was just falling apart. Yeah, I still cry when I see that scene. What are you talking about? What? Uh, what's up? I was one of those kids in the theater when that when they played that. He rose his hand, guys. Come on. I have. I, I I don't understand this. Why does Disney Plus, if they're this platform, if they have this stuff on there, or whoever, have an option where it's just like TV safe or kids safe, where they go through and they have somebody. I mean, it wouldn't take. You'd have to pay one person for a couple hours of work to go through there and edit out scenes where if there's something crazy, just like crop it. Or, yeah. you know, hey, you maggot farmer or that kind of thing. So you could watch any movie. It doesn't matter. You just put it on like PG mode 
and they don't even have to cut oh, the scenes. The they can just cut the audio for. or whatever and just and do that. And yeah, it's going to be an edited version of it. But if you Wait, are like, on, yeah, what's what that? What was the maggot censorship for? Oh, it was Platoon. It was a uh, mother father, we'll say, but they called everybody a maggot farmer. Yeah, I can go somewhere else as well. Wait, wait, hold on. Like platoon, like Oliver Stone platoon? Oliver Stone. Yes, yeah. So when it was on TV, like when I was growing up, I used to watch movies on TV. So TBS, TNT, that sort of thing. Yeah. And they'd be right. edited for TV and they'd cut things. And sure, that's censorship and that's bad it. and everything else. But if you go into it and you know full well, like I press this button to give you the censored version of the things that your kid can or you can watch it with your kid and know that there's never going to be anything that's that suspect so they can get the experience on some level i'm just surprised it doesn't oh, exist i'm yeah. sure it'd be a whole thing there'd be a big conversation about the censorship they'll make an ai really to well, do but, that yeah, yeah. yeah. Disney. <laughs> there's some shows like game of thrones i'd watch it but i could do without like there's a lot of it i'm like i don't we need to watch this for like 10 minutes let's just can we get to the next it's, scene like give me the dialogue what, like, and and move what, forward. penis in that show just a lot of it was extra. Well, I mean, the first first season, I'm like, ah, why don't people like this? They just get out the windows. People are brother and sister. Like, eh. Kinda, I don't know oh, about yeah. all this. You better not read the book. <laughs> no. Was, well, I hear that the new one is going to be really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. You know, when 20 coming out any day now. When it's written by somebody else. You know, How's this for a difficult question from Ultimate Kahuna? That's not difficult at all. Oh, um, action. yeah, they made oh, a few in the day. Let's see, right off the top of my head, uh, oh, really? Homeward Bound. Oh, really? Nice. I had that on VHS. Is it Chance? The Chance, Lucky Shadow, Shadow. Sassy. And the, and, yeah, oh, Sassy. sassy. I mean, That's it, right. It'd have to be for me, Mighty Ducks, hand down. Right? Oh, Mighty Ducks. Good one. Yeah. I, I was Hockey cool so running. awful. Hockey's not cool like that. Running. I had all three of those movies. Well, I had two of the three, actually. The third one was a legend. Flight of the Navigator. Oh, that's That's real. I had that on VHS. Most of those I had VHS. Or, no, wait, this is 80s. I was thinking 70s, but no. uh, uh, Escape to Witch... Escape yeah, to which mountain was the seventies? I never saw uh, the, the cat from outer one. space. I do believe mm, that I'm was eighties. That one. What? The cat from outer space. I don't think I heard that one. Yeah, he he has no. a he has a collar, and what's funny is uh, the collar that the cat was wearing. He looked like a regular black cat, but he had a collar, and when the the collar would light up, and he'd like communicate with people. He'd hear him speaking when the collar lit okay. up. But the collar looked awesome. like it was made from flash bulbs for a Polaroid. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Probably was. I really Not. wish they would re-release Iron Will Kahuna, but I doubt they will. Mm. There, there now, was a I know it's... Mountain, but then there was also uh, what was it? Returned it to which mountain or something like Didn't that? One on one Dalmatians, the live action come out in the two thousands. Uh, ninety six. I'm not sure. Oh no, no, one on one. Jungle was that? One on one was ninety six. There's How, one that Jeff I Daniels remember. Said what really? was the name of this one wow. that was? Uh, it might have been a straight to, like Disney Channel release about a surfer who has who then moves away oh, from Johnny Tsunami. Johnny Tsunami. Heck yeah, this yeah. Is a great movie. Yeah. Yes, I was actually I was going to table Brink too, which is in that kind of same vein of that oh, yeah. like extreme sports. Yeah, man, Johnny Tsunami, good pool. Yeah, that, they had so they did a lot of extreme sports stuff back in the day, and now Snow it's day? like. Snow Day. That was uh, that was that Nickelodeon. That was Nickelodeon. Oh, I'm mixing them up. Okay, yeah. that and movie's so and good. Broomsticks though. and then the Herbie movies. <laughs> I preferred Nickelodeon back in the day. Now going I, into the early 2000s, the early 2000s. That's the live action I'm more familiar with. Okay. Gosh, Miracles, fantastic. Miracle. What about the Jungle Book? And I don't mean the recent one by John oh, yeah, Favreau. Yeah. I mean, they did a live action Jungle Book with Gary Elways and somebody else. I remember that one. Yeah, I always it, did, remember it didn't the match up to the animated, the like the new no, one. No, because it was gosh. based on the original Rubric uh, Kipling's book. It wasn't like Disney's yeah. version. It was actually. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't the. the book story. They didn't rehash the I think I remember that. version. I right. liked. I know I get a lot of flack for it, but I like the Walt Disney version of Three Musketeers. What? I still have okay, that. That was funny. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. funny. Who was in that one? Charlie Sheen. Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, he is. He's in it. Yeah. 
Charlie Sheen Disney? and Keith Sutherland. Yeah, yeah, Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Yeah. Tim Curry was the bad guy. Oh, come on. Yeah, he played awesome. the Cardinal. I can't believe that it was Disney. Uh, the prince was the most female-looking man I had ever seen when I was a yeah. kid. I'm like, Yo, I Chris can't tell if he's a guy or a girl. <laughs> that was also the movie and where I just fell in love. Disney. I fell in love with the dueling swords in that wow. movie. I love the swords. I was like, dude, these things look epic. I want to I die actually, with one of those in my hand. <laughs> I actually got the audio or the CD of the music before I ever saw the movie. Which made me you know, I Adams, listen to that yeah. a lot, and then I saw the movie, and, and that was probably the first time that I really paid attention to the music in the movie. Nothing makes me think Three Musketeers like Brian Brian Adams. So. Yeah, <laughs> he did a song with um, they did a collab. Brian Adams, uh, Bono, and somebody else. Who was the other '80s dude? Phil Collins. No, no, no. Oh, John. No, okay. Now you're gonna make me look it up. <laughs> All for love was the title. Oh, there's Brian Adams. No, it's not Rod Stewart. Okay. Yeah, Rod Stewart, Brian Adams, and oh, it's both of them. Bob. Thank you.